about it, right? Made What's you that? like the, the podcast element of Substack made you really look at the platform and what they're trying to offer. I just looked at it like three or four times and I never even seen that podcast part until like recent, like more recently. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? The po- like they got a podcast the aspect of this. That's cool, man. I want to check I, it out. I think they have video too, in that, but I'm not 100% on it. And I know they're just trying to get big people on there, which makes sense. Like offer all the little things that you can offer. And that was what I was going to talk to you about is books. Like I said, you, you've read the first book. You've read the furthest on the book and something about you know the written word i don't know if people read it as much as they listen to it in right, right and i was thinking because my book is kind of not only is it uber long but it's it doesn't end really i'm not right. gonna finish it uh i've told you about that how it just keeps going it's part of the narrative right that to me i'm like well then that works as a podcast right because it's infinite like you could do that and then like my general structure of the story was I had this three part plot structure that I had in my head and then as I was writing it it kind of expanded because it's a fantasy novel that's what they do and then uh, that was my goal would be to take all those expansion pieces that don't necessarily add to the entire the, the base story that I had in my head right. and use those on separate different platforms some for the written some for the podcast Right, yeah. Keep, you, keep you, some for the print when I finally get enough out there to print it. You know what I mean? Publish. And you, you narrating it would be could be a podcast. Yes, exactly. But I'm not the best at narration. What does that mean? You're not read. You can't read. Oh, I can read. Yeah. Like, what but what fuck? do I do when the girl characters start to talk? Do I do a girl voice? No. No, you don't. Do, do, you don't do a girl voice. You're not acting it. No. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, bro, boys. Or get it would, Aria. Nah, I, yeah, I could get Aria. To Y'all could just both out. do it together? I yeah. mean, unless there's multiple characters in that. There's because. multiple characters. But she could just do all the girls. If I felt that bad about it. Like, if I listened back to him, I was like, no, it's not working. Even me just saying it isn't working. You know right. what I mean? Like, then I could get her to help me. I she think, too, care. the whole idea, like, is having different ways to engage people on your exactly. content. Because... It's quicker to listen to something too, That's and if true, they right. and if they listen to a couple, then they might go to the reading, right? You know, right. and then you can. Make- some people are readers, but yeah, some yeah. people just ain't. But I think some people just use certain platforms. Like some people yes. are married to certain platforms, and so. like, well, they don't know about other platforms. I right, told my right. sister-in-law, who right. she makes websites now at least, and she didn't know what Substack was. <laughs> And I was right, like, so. it, it's a pretty big platform, you know. Like, but you don't know until you know. Like, exactly. You, there's a lot of look. I've had my podcast out since like June, and I just realized yesterday that it ain't on iHeartRadio. I put it on iHeartRadio yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. It wasn't ever on there this whole time. Oh, sure. So I was like, because the way it works is you have to manually upload your RSS to each one of these platforms. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Which is you just miss them sometimes when you're doing it all alone. I'm I'm doing a lot of shit every day. You know, so it's like sometimes I don't. Okay. That's iHeartRadio is a big one to miss. Right, right. Isn't it? Yeah, it's like one of the main, like it's a... It's it was a on Apple platform. and Spotify. What else was it on? What other... It's on... Well, like, Apple is kind of weird. It does... It has this thing where if you put it on Apple, it goes on Stitcher and this other platform called Overcast. It was on Radio uh-huh. Republic. It was on Google Podcast. It was on, you know, it's on Anchor. It's on all these platforms, but... Apple has a distribution model to other platforms. Right. Which, which is what you want, kind of. Yeah, I just didn't even know that until I uploaded it to them. But so, iHeart and Spotify are probably think, self-sufficient enough that they don't expect to. Spotify is turning into one of the main fucking platforms. For, like, for podcasts? podcasts? Yeah, yeah, like, fucking people. They, I didn't even... Really? I didn't realize that. Well, I think I just am one of the people. I'm always in my own world. I don't really... You know what I'm There's saying? There's so much shit to take in. That you, you don't can't, realize... Yeah, I don't realize what other people do at all, to be honest. I don't, like... And then the fact that I'm not, like, super computer savvy really hurts that, too. Because <laughs> I don't know where to go with everything. What I did, bro, is... And obviously, I am not got no huge following. But I, put, I made a separate account for my things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a... Uh, podcast Instagram. I got my yeah. up my music Instagram. I got my regular Instagram. Huh? You know what I'm saying. So anyone who's on this platform, that's what they're here for. Nobody's here. You know what I'm saying. Seeing the mixed stuff. content. Yeah. And it's like well, you gotta do crossovers here. every now and then. I do. I, I I cross advertise and whatnot, but at the same time, 
I don't want to just, I ain't on my main wanna, Instagram putting hella music on there because. You don't want to push, somebody who likes your podcast might not care that much about your music. Right, it's just they're <laughs> not here for that. You yeah. know, it's like, they're not here for that. So I do cross, I do cross advertise sometimes, but at the same time, I, I still battle with that though because my biggest platform is my main Instagram and I don't post none of my shit on that because. You don't repost? Nah, just because I people ain't on like when I was put I, I did at first and then my people st- that are watching my story went down. Oh really? You know what I'm saying? So it was like I get it. People don't really want to be so. That's not what they're here for. Yeah. They're, you know what I'm saying? They that's not what they're here on this platform for. So I said I'm gonna create a platform. Are stories so, more successful than just posting it? They're more I think urgent because so. they're more. I think they're more focused. Yeah, they're at the top of the page. You know what I'm saying? They're more like. The media, they're more intimate. It's like some shit that happened yet, like right now. Yeah, it's like yeah. And you don't I, ever like retweet yourself from your podcast page. Yeah. Or not re, you know what I mean? On Instagram, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Repost. I, yeah, I do. It's not a lot. And the and I uh mainly what I mean is just my main platform. I'll cross advertise on the music and the podcast, like yeah. fuck it, because they're both content. Well, they're they're linked. Right. Yeah. They're very they're linked. They kind of. They kind of wash one hand washes the other in a, in a lot of ways, but it's like, fuck it, man. I'm just creating platforms, and anybody who wants to be here, and you can unfollow if you don't want to see it. It's all good. I don't want anybody in the platform that don't want to see it. So, fuck it. don't waste your time with it, right? If you don't, yeah, if I you mean, don't enjoy it, I post and I put hashtags because hashtags are a good way to market. I think people follow hashtags. Yeah, they do. So it's like. People literally, I get hella. If you, if on Instagram, it's cool because you can turn your thing into a a business profile or a creator profile, and I can see how my insights on each post, how many people engage with it, the impressions. I can see if they engage with it from the hashtags. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Which is, I get more engagement from my hashtags than I do just on the news feed straight up. So oh, that's I'm like, dope. fuck it. I'm I'm with the hashtags. I was against it. Yeah, just I just didn't like the way it looked. Hella hashtags on the post. You Doing know a hella saying? hashtags makes you seem a little desperate. Yeah, but at the same time, it's not. It's that's just, a connotation. That's just yeah. a common understanding. That that's means, what like, you do to let people see it. Fuck it, I don't care. Like if that's if if it's some kind of pride thing, then there is a little. You know what I mean? Like when you first go to do yeah. it, there's a little hell pride yeah. where you're like, definitely. That seems a little like too much. I'm begging for it. Yeah, but, but at then the same, at the same time, time, you have to have a group of people. You gotta find your people. And that's just, that ain't like some sort of fact. Well, and like, like you're just those, begging for attention. Those for websites will like, if you're not on a bunch of stuff, you're not really seen at all. Right. You, they, they'll hide you after a certain point. I got a random podcast listen in Argentina. That's my only listen outside the country is in Argentina. Do they listen to a lot? No, it's only like a, uh, like a 1% or something like that of my total listens, but it's like... Oh. At the same time, total listens, yeah. yeah. At the same time, though, it's like that's somebody out of outside of this country listened to my just a conversation that I had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like months ago, and I get paid for it when I go to sleep. If you listen to my podcast, I get paid for it. Oh, really? Yeah, I got it monetized on all the platforms. So. How do you get paid per view of uh, listening to the podcast? How does that work? Well, what happens is it ads is, or it's an ad because I started out on the podcast platform Anchor. Okay. That's where that's the platform that hosts my podcast, right? Yeah. And the way it works is you set it all up for free. And after you get 50 listeners, unique listeners, mm-hmm. you are available for like ads. Like you can start putting ads up, but what happens is, is you don't get to control the ads. They hit you with the offer when they feel like they, tell when you they have something. Yeah, yeah, something that'll fit your podcast. So mine is if you've listened to my podcast, the beginning of it is me reading an ad saying like talking on Anchor, like trying to sell you on the platform, platform. because that's my that was my ad opportunity. They said, just advertise us. They right said now. just advertise us, and we'll pay you for that. So I did that, and yeah, because I didn't. I mean, I had never even heard of Anchor. Right, which is which is awesome, man. I stumbled across it on Instagram through ads. They had a sponsor ad, <laughs> and I stumbled across it, and I just honestly, bro, I added it to my phone as an app, and I was just toying with the idea of starting a podcast i wasn't gonna do it and i kept trying to get my buddies to do it with me like preston and carl i was like dude like come on man y'all are funny they they said they would do it but they haven't done an episode yet i mean i know i said i would do this a while ago 
but I'm over here. It is what it is. I just time is. I put the. It is what it is. I ain't. Everybody lives their own life, so you can't even. You know. So it's it's whatever. But at the same time, I I was just battling with the idea, and then I was like, fuck it, I'm I'm doing it. And that's why you got to do it by yourself sometimes. Right. Which yeah. is tough to do. It's sometimes you just got to make the progress and learn on the job yeah. instead of just it'll make you better being stagnant, it. right? Yeah. That's what, uh, dude. Like lately, I've been trying to write at night, and I was doing really good for about two weeks. I would period go to bed, I'd clean up. It'd be like eleven thirty, <laughs> and I would sit down to write, and I would get chapters done. And then I, I don't know, last week or so, like I'm just exhausted at that time. And then the time changed back, so now 11.30 is 12.30, and I am asleep, and I can't stay awake to do it. I definitely get it, bro. Like, it's so much discipline. That's why. Is I, it discipline? That's what I'm saying. Like, where's the discipline line come in when you're just tired and you and you need some sleep? That is the discipline line. Like just you, not sleeping? Not sleeping. I know, right? Right. That's the only option you have. Right. And then, and then you get mad about it because you're just like... You're tired, right. you're irritable, and you're like, I, I want to fucking sleep. I need some sleep because this isn't gonna be as good if I don't sleep. That's but, true, man. All those are. But like, it's like eating. Like I'm, I'm, I'm overweight. Like you don't need to eat that much. Right. You know? Like, like I eat too much. And honest to God, that might be why I sleep too much. Okay, I'm playing a game. Well, I was like uh, listening to La Russell. He said something about that. Like, if you're willing to work all day and then come home and then work on your side hustle then you, that's that's discipline which is like that's his take on it you know I, yeah, that's, but at the same time yeah like yeah, that's, that's 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 up to you if you get your shit done there ain't no like i don't feel it like it feels good when you're getting it done you know yeah. what I mean? when you're writing but it's like when you go to sit down and do it and then you're like trying to write and you're trying it's, to get stuff terrible. done and then you delete because you're like that's bad i gotta fix that See, writing, but then I'm you gotta never. turn off the editor you gotta just put the paint you know what i mean i've never really done like like writing like that so it's like i don't know you know yeah i do like i watch a podcast on these dudes on the dude who invented entourage the tv show okay and he says uh he fucking hates writing but he <laughs> loves when it's done yeah. you know what i'm saying when he looks back on it and it's out and it's done and he, you're he like loves this, that yeah feeling. this is cool but he like, said it's torture good. writing for him yeah and he he wrote entourage it's like one of the most successful shows on hbo ever you know it's like I watched the movie. I didn't, I, I didn't get it on the show. I would say the show's a lot better than the movie. Is for it? Sure. Yeah. I think so. But I think I have a lot of personal bias Taste? towards the movie or the show because my dad watched it when I was a kid. So oh, so it you was got like, a little bit of it then? It was cool, yeah. So, like, by the time I became older and got HBO Max, I was like, I got to watch this shit. <laughs> same for Sopranos. Sopranos. Dude, I haven't seen The Sopranos. Sopranos is cool, man. I know. Like, I've heard amazing things. I need to sit down. But then it's like, how many seasons is the Sopranos? It's only like six. Yeah, only like six. That's well, that's funny. A lot of the a lot of the good like best shows have a lot more. One more season. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll never like, watch Frasier. There's 13 seasons of what? Yeah, like even Entourage is like eight or nine seasons or something. So yeah. It's but a when lot you do add. comedy, you can keep people around for a longer time. So Substack, like that idea of. You know, posting and then letting people subscribe because it's right. continuous. And then my subscription novel. Subscription-based Yeah, subscription-based platform, right. platform. And then you, like, I see everybody that's read my book, everybody that's subscribed to read it. And so, like, you have the most stars. Um, I don't know how far you've read, but uh, you've read the most, apparently. What? Uh, what? Yeah, I like the idea of a subscription platform. And, like, and they I like, do podcasts on there, too. Which is why I was, what I was kind of wanting to ask you about. When I clicked on it, I seen something about podcasts. And, yeah, they just added that feature. I don't know how good it is. And I tried to do something with it, and it wasn't really, like, very easy. It was seeming, like, weird. And I like to have the podcast on every platform. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's hard. To, you got to kind of manually the do it. The trick would be to, and them. this is what I was about to talk to you about. Yeah. The trick would be to just do one special podcast every now and then on that platform you know what i mean right, and right, then right, like right. do most of your podcasts and everything well yeah that's the idea is that i i'm just uh i'm putting up a, a five song project out on december 5th like a little album yeah well, what's the what's the small records called uh ep ep yeah 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 it's an ep like uh and i'm putting it, it comes out on apple music and all that december 5th you trying to roll that window now oh yeah i'm sorry that's me but uh 
and right now I'm doing a thing where uh, you can pay me any amount, and I'll send you a link to it early. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, yeah, it can be a dollar. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter amount what it is. I still get paid for the streams as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the sh the streaming payout is very small. Minimal. Like, right. It's like not even a penny per stream. You know, it's, it's less than a penny per stream. So it's just an idea. It's is it half a, a penny? How it's many? less than that. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like point zero 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 three or some shit per stream. I kind of get it, but then at the same time, it's like, do you have well, words on make, your on your stuff yet? Yeah, yeah, it's an album. Yeah, it's, it's an album, and I made all the beats, and I wrote all the raps, and I recorded myself, and I fucking. Uh, now it's I a little listen. five song project. I, I have know. a musical ear. Some like the other day, Casey played a Taylor Swift song, right? And he played just the instrumental, and we're sitting there, and we're like, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> because like I remember liking the Taylor Swift song fine with the words right. you know what I mean that's a whole instrument yeah. the voice is an instrument for and sure and like rhyming the lyrics you know what I mean that's like a that's, part of it that's I think. you though yeah that's what you like right yeah, but yeah, you can hit a you. lot of people with that oh hell yeah, yeah. and I, I, I definitely mean. lean on words I, oh. I yeah, my, my crutch to words I'm writing a novel right right yeah. right you're a wordy kind of <laughs> yeah I think I, I I've always liked word searches word searches yeah and I didn't think that ever like meant anything but I do kind of feel like it has something to do with the fact that I just like words I yeah. don't know and like they think well what is it language dictates how you think or changes how you think which language you speak really what yeah. do you mean I don't know studies the idea that people that speak different languages have different ways of coming about thought right that's crazy yeah so the idea that I'm attached to words is probably just a part of that you know that's the way yeah. I think and then I've already fucked myself over by Focusing on words too much in my life. Right. <laughs> College and then writing a book. Bro, uh, yeah, I like the idea of Substack because I like the idea of having that ex and then, exclusivity. Yeah, and then you see, you know, everybody that's subscribed. Right. You can email them directly with something right. else if you want. Take that email list over to something else. And that's really taking advantage of being independent because that's what that we both the, are as independent publishers, yeah. right? Like, yeah. And exclusivity is one of your main leverages as an independent. Creator. That's the only leverage. Right, right. Yeah, that, like, honestly. Well, time, like I said, I'm putting this album, this project together. It don't come out for a month. But if you Venmo me any amount of money, I'll send you a link to it. You can hear it early. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's me leveraging time as an independent creator. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I get it. That but makes I sense. I got it from, the idea came from this dude named La Russell. He's an artist from the Bay. And he, uh, he did the same thing. And I was just hell inspired by it. I paid him five bucks for his album. And I got his album early, and it was just dope, man. I, I like, I just, I, I did it for the marketing. I didn't even really care about it, the album. I was like, I just thought it was dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so that idea. Like, yeah, and I was like, I'm definitely doing this for sure. You know what I mean? Was the music good? Yeah, I like his music. A lot. Is he got a lot of songs on there? He's got. He's one of them dudes who really is inspiring me a lot because I've been putting out a lot of music, and he put out like 15 projects in one year. Is it Russell or Russ? His, his name's Lil Russell. Lil Russell? Yeah. Lil Russell? La. La like Russell. Like L.A. Russell, you know? Oh, like That's his mate. That's his name. That's his government okay. name is Lil Russell. Okay. And he's from California, but he fucking, he's, he's super, he's super innovative in terms of independent marketing and like that, you know? Where you is, might catch a lot of wisdom off of this yeah, shit. Yeah, no, I, the independent marketing thing is like a rabbit hole. Like, you could just, you could do anything. But then now, like, the returns on Facebook ads and Instagram ads and shit is diminishing. And really? They say, yeah, they say it's, like, it's not as good. And that, to me, is like, okay, so are you putting money into a blank hole and they're just going to throw you up on a bunch of bots, Facebook pages, and well, have say you they ever, exposed uh, you? Have you ever used No, I have not. I, I, that's I've why used I, Instagram ads. And they're successful for you. I'm not on Instagram. Depends on what your the idea of successful is. I had a lot of impressions, but I didn't have a lot of. And at the time, what I was offering, I wasn't super. Like I'm offering beats, you know. Like we offer two different things. You actually have something that's more put together in terms it's more of more finished. Right. Like I you mean, have actual it. chat. Like I just yeah. now am putting even words on shit. So it's like you know, yeah. I haven't put an Instagram up uh, ad up since like last year. I think I don't even remember, but. The impressions were dope, but I didn't have a lot of uh, engagement, which is the main... Which is what you want. Right. You want that draw. And that's the idea as impressions. I don't know if they can bot that. Which is, you know what I mean? I, mean like, or I don't if, think they can. I don't... 
I don't unless that's just straight robbery, you know. Like I don't think that's they're the willingly problem. doing it. Yeah, that's the problem. That is, depends is on the platform if you trust the platform you're using. Yeah. You know, like and I, I don't have a problem with Facebook. I feel like that's more. Uh, well, Facebook and Instagram are all owned by the like same people. So, like even the shit that I put on Instagram just kind of goes on Facebook, and I don't even really get on Facebook. 